Praise the living Jesus. If you are happy that the Lord has granted you opportunity and grace to see the last Sunday of this month and last Sunday of this year, praise the living Jesus. People of God, I want to welcome you to this place of worship, the chapel of the Healing Cross, where God answers prayers. And we thank God for his grace upon us and the privilege of life. Today is Sunday, 27th December, 2020, last Sunday of this month and last Sunday of this year. Liturgically, today is first Sunday after Christmas. And of course, year 2020, prayer and praise Sunday. We bless the name of the Lord who has kept us and we know that we'll render our hearts of gratitude unto him today for all he has done and to trust him for all he will do. We've just begun the 362nd day this year and we are left with only four days. The almighty God who has kept us up to this day will grant us grace to finish well and we shall enter 2021 year 2021 triumphantly in good health. Amen. Once again, you are welcome. Let us be in a state of silence as we prepare to pray. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, <clears throat> from January up to this moment, you have been our God. We thank you, Lord, for every challenge that you have made us to overcome. We thank you because you not allow the proud waters of the world even to overshadow us. Lord, we are here in your presence, those of us physically present in the chapel, and those that have joined online. We thank you, O God, for the joy of the Lord that has been our strength. We say, may your name alone be highly exalted in the name of Jesus Christ. As we are gathered, O Lord, in your presence this morning with our hearts of gratitude, we pray every area we have sinned against you that will not allow you to bless us. We ask that you forgive us in the name of Jesus Christ. Today is the last Sunday of the year, and we have recounted all you have done for us, and we know that it could be only you. We pray that you continue to help us to recognize you as the supreme God. Even as we enter into year 2021, that we will continue to praise that songs of praise will never cease from our mouth. Therefore, Lord, lead us in this service. Possess us afresh. Those on their way, bring them safely. Let every one of us partake in the blessings you have for us. No, allow the devil to deprive us, O God, from being blessed today. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. The choir will lead us in crosses as we praise and worship him.
for our sentence is taken from Isaiah chapter 62, verse 12. It will be shown on the screen, and we shall all read together. Together, and they shall be called the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord. And it shall be called, sought out, a city not forsaken. Amen. The Lord be with you. Please sit. The Lord has been so gracious to us. The Lord has been so good to us. We have come to render our hearts of gratitude unto him for the battles he has fought for us and for the victories he gave us. We have come to trust him that he that has led us thus far will not leave us alone. For the remaining days for this year to end, we know that he will be our God. And for year 2021, he will work with us in a stronger way. Therefore, there is no one that can be blessed if such soul is full of sin. And therefore, he has said and assured us that if we humble ourselves, that he is just to forgive us all our unrighteousness. On that note, I want to encourage us to bow our head as we confess our sins to God. You will see after me, Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against your divine majesty and against our brothers and sisters in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. Through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault, we are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that henceforth, ceasing to live to sin, we may live to serve you in the nest of life. To the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who, who truly repent, have mercy upon us. Pardon and deliver us from all our sins. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness. And keep us in life eternal. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Collect for Sunday, 27 December 2020, Christmas 1. I will read on our behalf. Let us pray. Almighty God, 
you have given us your only begotten Son to take our nature upon him and to be born of a pure virgin. Grant that we, who have been born again and made your children by adoption and grace, may daily be renewed by your Holy Spirit. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you, and the same Spirit, one God, now and forevermore. I want us to ponder upon what God has done for us. And let us just have a reflection so that we can know the, the extent at which we can praise him and appreciate him. Just reflect within you and know that it could be God. It's only God that has been on your sides. If not, the enemies will have swallowed you up. But thank God that he has been there for you. I will enter his gate with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his court with praise. And I will say, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. Hallelujah. I am so glad. I will rejoice for He has made me glad. He has made me glad. Just sing unto him for all he has done for you. Hallelujah. thank him, he will be motivated to do more. I just want our prayer of intercession this morning is just thanksgiving. Just raise your right hand up and say, you can sing any song you want to, you feel you can sing to appreciate him. Just sing any song in any language that you are led to sing to appreciate God. He is faithful. His faithfulness knows beyond no bound. He has never failed in his promises. Thank him for your family in songs. Thank him for your going out, your coming in. Those who have died this year, you are not better than them. It's not maybe you are righteous than them just because you receive mercy from God. Lord, we thank you. Brethren, lift him up. Red and lift him up. Oh, lift him up. He's the King of Kings, Lord of Lords. Oh, our Lord is good. Oh, our 
that we have rendered unto you, you will rise and do us good in the name of Jesus Christ. For the remaining days for this year to end, songs of praises will never be far from our mouth. For year 2021, Father, we shall continue to dance and people will know that we are serving you in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever calamity that the devil may want to bring our way, because we have praised you this morning, we pray that such will be suppressed in the name of Jesus Christ. We shall be carriers of testimonies for the remaining part of our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. And the glory of the Lord will add it upon us. Thank you for Nigeria. Nigeria shall be better. It will be in our lifetime. We will eat the fruit of the land. For our leaders, Father, you will possess them afresh. The economy of this Nigeria, of this country, oh God, will be better for every one of us. Other countries, they will aspire to come to Nigeria. And it shall be well with us. For everyone that is sick this morning, receive divine healing. Receive divine touch of the Lord. The Bible says that you sent your word and your word healed them. I pray we sent forth your word this morning. Wherever they are, heal them in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, all our members that have traveled, no evil will befall them in their villages. They will come back safe and sound. We shall all glorify your holy name. Father, we remember the families that are, we, are to be, we are to pray for this week. Lord, we ask, O oh God, that we remember them for good in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray that indivisible hands of God will lift them up in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever the devil may plan for them, Father, they will be overcome us in the name of Jesus Christ. For the, those that are celebrating their birthday starting from today for this week, Father, they will have reason to celebrate more in the name of Jesus Christ. Nothing will mix with their joy in the name of Jesus Christ. Sorrow will not corrode their hearts in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray, O oh Lord, that next year, when your coming tarries, their level of celebration will be greater than this year in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you will keep us safe. You will keep us secured. Father, from pandemic, you will keep us secured. You will spiritually immune us in the name of Jesus Christ, and it shall be well with us. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. The Lord's Prayer.
together for the Lord. Just clap in worship this morning. Hallelujah. We remain standing as we read together Psalm 100. As we will show on the screen, we will read together Psalm 100. Psalm 100. Shall we go, brethren? Make a joyful noise. All the land, serve the Lord with gladness. Singing, know that the Lord is God. It is He that made us. And we are his, we are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gate with thanksgiving, and his call for praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. For the Lord is good, his steadfast love endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. Glory be to God the Father, the Son, and to the Holy once again, just raise that hand and begin to bless the Lord. Begin to say to Him, He is worthy to be praised. He is worthy to be praised. He is worthy to be praised. Worship the name of the Lord this morning. Give Him all the glory. Open your mouth and speak. He is glorious and mighty. Oh, we we'll worship you. In Jesus' name we pray. Our Father will return all the praise to you. You are our keeper. If not for you, what will we be saying today? But because you are God and God of our lives, we are able to say, God, you are good to us. Glory be to you in the name of Jesus Christ. You have been with us through the thick and the thin. Oh, the place we went to and we came back, some went and they are no more. The kind of feelings we had and they say it's fever, the thing happened to some and they are gone today. It's not because we are better, but God, you have shown us your mercy. You said in your word, you will show mercy unto whom you will and compassion unto whom you will. It is therefore not of him that runs or him that wins, but of God that shows mercy. Thank you for showing us mercy. Glory be to your name in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, the daily miracle of sleeping and waking up, that day you granted us. Glory be to your name in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we bow before you this morning. We bow before you this morning. We bow before you this morning. As individual love, we bow before you. As a family love, we bow before you. As a child, we bow before you. We say glory be to your name in the name of Jesus Christ. Ah, what can we say, oh God? But to say we thank you. We say we thank you. We say we thank you. Hallelujah be to your name in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we are alive today. We are alive today on the blood of your mercy. We say glory be to your name in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, by this time next year, we shall all be alive again. In the name of Jesus Christ. 2020 has not swallowed us up. 2021 will not swallow us up in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we are not weeping today. All through the year 2021, we will not weep in the name of Jesus Christ. Ah, but I will pray, O oh God, that the year 2020, the remaining of it, we command, O oh God, the 20 the remaining days of 2020 to open up his mouth and swallow up all our pains, swallow up all our worries in the name of Jesus Christ. We will march into 2021. Free men celebrating the goodness of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. We will not have any carry over pain. We will not have any carry over worries in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we will receive afresh your mark upon our lives. That mark that no man can erase. That mark that trouble sees and runs away. The mark that wickedness sees and runs away. We will receive afresh this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Ah, Father, we thank you. Ah, let 
me know that we rejoice before you today. And we know that as we rejoice in, you are up again to bless us. Therefore, we will not go unblessed today. In the name of Jesus Christ. We return all thanks unto you, Lord. We make a joyful noise before you, Lord. We make a joyful noise before you, Lord. We make a joyful noise before you. Come and make a joyful noise before the Lord this morning. Hallelujah! 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 Amen. shall be called the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord. And you shall be called sought out a city, not forsaken. This is the word of the Lord. The second lesson is taken from Galatians chapter 4, 1 to 7, which I also read together as shown on the screen. Together, I mean that the air as long as he's a child, he's no better than a slave, though he's the owner of all the estate. But he's under guidance and trustees until the day is set by the father. So with us, when we were children, we were slaves to the elemental spirits of the universe. But when the time had fully come, God sent forth his son, born of woman, born under the law, to redeem those who are under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. And because you are sons, God has sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father. So through God, you are no longer a slave, but you are a son. And if a son, then an heir. This is the word of the Lord. We pray that the Almighty God will grant us grace to discover our heritage in God in the name of Jesus Christ. So that we can exercise our authority over the devil and his cohorts. In the mighty name of Jesus. As we prepare to listen from the throne of mercy, we'll sing the hymn 4032, Blessed Assurance, Jesus is Mine. Sajib tight envelopes shall be collected as we sing this hymn. And at the end, at the singing of the last stanza, we shall stand.
let us stand. thank you because you have kept us alive to be in your presence to render our hearts of gratitude unto you. Lord, we pray even as you speak your word to us, may you give us listening ears to understand your word and to do your will so that year 2021 people will know that we are of you. In the name of God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Please sit. Let me congratulate all of us for the grace that God has bestowed upon us to witness the last Sunday of the year. It is a privilege. It is not your right. Those who have died, you are not better than them. It's just that you receive mercy from God. Yoruba will say, Anu Larigba. And for the fact that you are counted among the living today, you need to appreciate Him. Because if you have died, heaven will not fall. Those who died, heaven didn't fall. The powerful, the influential, the wealthy people. They've all gone, most especially to COVID-19. If you remember that there was a man in Asso Rock that was so powerful that it is whatever he said that will follow. Even the president said that nobody could call to him except that person, those people passed through him to know how powerful the man was. But we are not using this one to mock anybody. But he died. And because of that, Nigeria did not stop. Did Nigeria stop? Nigeria continues. Is that not so? So, for being alive, it is just the grace of God. And that is why whenever you sleep and wake, all what you need to do is to render your hearts of gratitude unto him. Because that is the greatest miracle that one will ever have. Miracle of sleeping and waking. And I want to use this opportunity to thank members of the Chapel of the Healing Cross for your support to us, to my administration. It was just like a Yesterday, and behold, four years has come. And we thank God that God has helped us thus far. But we couldn't have been here appreciating God without your cooperation. It's not that maybe we didn't have moments of disagreement. Yes, of course, we're not born from the same woman. And even if the same mother that are born all of us, even the twins, they have their differences. So, but you have been supportive, and I can say that, and the Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let me also thank members of Chapel Council for deeming it fit to renew 
the tenor for another four years. If you don't renew it, there is nothing I will do. I can't even charge you to court. I cannot do anything. All what I will do is to carry my load. At the end, it will have been maybe four days to this time, at 31, December 31, I will just carry my load and go. But we thank God that you deem it fit to renew the tenor, and we are not taking that for granted. And we hope and trust God that our God will help us not to disappoint you. Yeah. Let me, on behalf of clergy, appreciate, express our hearts of gratitude and appreciation to the love you've shown to us. We are indeed grateful because this chapel, you are lovely people. And we pray that wherever your children are, the Lord will remember them for good in the name of Jesus Christ. And whether the devil likes it or not, they will not bring the corpse of your children home. Amen. The Lord will sustain them wherever they are. Amen. Where the eyes of you, of human beings, may not reach, and of course technology has even made things simple anyway, but the eyes of God is everywhere. And the eyes of God will continue to be upon them all in the name of Jesus Christ. We are still in Christmas festive mood, which is the assurance of the joy that Jesus' birth brings to the world. And this assurance and the joy of the Lord will continue in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. There is no doubt that the challenges we all encountered globally this year and the sustaining grace of God in our lives have clearly demonstrated that we have been redeemed. And that is where the theme of this message come from, comes from. We have been redeemed. We have been brought back from the pit of sin. We have been released from the cage of bondage. And we have been given a new life. We have been given a new hope. All because of the redemptive work that Jesus came to the world to do for us. And that is why the test where we read this morning, the, the two passages, in Galatians chapter 4, verses 4 and 5. Please, can you show on the screen? And Isaiah chapter 62, verse 12. I want us to read the two, the two verses uh, that I have just quoted together. Can you show for us on the screen? Together, but when the fullness of the time was come, Thank you. The next, Isaiah chapter 62, verse 12. Together. And you shall be called sought out. A city, not what? You will not be forsaken. Your children will not be forsaken. Because we are redeemed, we have been called out. We have been brought back from the pit of sin. We have been released from the cage of bondage. We have been given a new life. We have been given a new hope. All because of the redemptive work that Jesus came to the world to do for us. He came to the world. He brought joy, joy unspeakable, full of glory. And there is no man that can take away the joy from us. That is why as a redeemed children of God, we need to know our heritage, our right in him. We should not behave like slaves. We will still get there. Because many of us, we behave like slaves. We don't know our heritage. We don't know the right of sonship that we have. And that is why they will come and start pushing us here and there. And we continue to be disturbed and, be, you know, and anxiety and fear will come. We are the children of God because we have been redeemed. We have been bought from the bondage of sin, from the cage of wickedness. And we have been given the rightful position as sons of God. 
In our anchor test, Paul reminds the church at Galatia about the centrality of the incarnation of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Because Jesus came as a man, he was partly human and partly divine. He came through a virgin Mary, through a woman, and under the law, in order to do what? To fulfill the purpose of God for mankind. Because when Adam sinned, and there was no one who could remit or should do remission by shedding of his, of his own blood. Even the high priest, before they enter into the holies of holies, they need to shed the blood of animal for the remission of their own sin. Before they could make intercession for another man's sins. But Christ, who was without sin, came to the world, volunteered himself, left his comfort zone, and died for us, shed his own blood. He that was without sin carried our own nature of sin. And that was why he shouted, Elo, Elo, Lama Sabachthani, Lord, Lord, why have you forsaken me? Just because of, he demonstrated that love. Love that cannot be quantified. He demonstrated it for you and I. And he redeemed us through the shedding of his blood. And he said, receive the right of sonship. Then why do we need to behave like slaves? Why do we need to behave like slaves? That is to, to say that we don't even know the right, the privilege we have as sons of God. And I pray that the year 2021, the Lord will open your eyes and you will exercise your authority as children of God in the name of Jesus Christ. So at Christmas, we remember and celebrate the sending of the Son of God, that is Jesus, and we note the intervention of God which was done decisively in human history. I said it on December 25, Christmas Day, that research, this, uh, uh, research has it that out of 108 trillion you know, human race, that it was only one man that came, that was born. And he came and he brought salvation to mankind. Only one man. Every other religious leaders, name them. Where are they? they? They claim they are Jesus. Even some claim that they have the authority in heaven and earth. That if I die today, the second day, or the third day, I will also rise. Where are they today? I was going towards the uh, Reverend Adeyemon's place. Uh, at Ibile uh, Jesu Onyugbo. And I discovered that they have already, I think they said they've even sold those earths. They said they've sold them. Are you getting me? And Enite Wala Yengba, eh? Teti Dagba. When Jesu Onyugbo was Jesu Onyugbo in this uh, Lagos. I think you know. You know, ba? <laughs> you know how powerful he was. In fact, uh, Olumba Olumba Ubu in Calabar, they said he has not died. That's what they said. Though. They said he's still alive, but he is not seen again. But they said he can appear to his members. But I'm not sure he can appear to me. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, I was uh, in Ikwara sometimes years back, and one man, they call him Baba Onishigidi. You know what they call Shigidi? I don't know how to interpret Shigidi in English. Oh. Who can help me? Shigidi. Do you know what they call Shigidi? Eh, mo gano kwenye Shigidi. Ah, eh, mo jesu gano. Shigidi is uh, that thing that is a, a deity that will consult. Are you getting me? But the moment you enter now, he will mention your name. He will not talk. He will say, che, che, che. And the interpreter will say, hey, he has said this is Mr. So it is only the interpreter that understands its language. And we say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, ah, he said you should sit down. Oh. <laughs> so and that man 
they call him, my wife, no, no uh, they call Baba Onishigidi. And the day he came to our church, he met at the church in Para. And I told him, I think he came for, yes, he came for it. He came to church to do Thanksgiving. No? And I told him, I said, Baba, what they call you is that, they said that you are Baba Onishigidi. And that when they come to your house, that something is under your bed, I will say, he, he, he. And that you will also interpret. I said, since I've been coming to your house, because I used to go to this house, I said, I have not heard him say, ye, 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 to me. But the day he will say, ye, 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 I will also say, ye, ye, ye. <laughs> that it is not you that will interpret. If you say, ye, 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 to me, I will also say, ye, 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 back. What am I trying to say is that all those who said they have power in, uh, on earth and they claim to have everything, they died. They didn't wake again. But Jesus died. The third day, he did what? Can we clap for Jesus? So whether we like it or not, we all failed. But by the power of his redemption, he gave us life. And that is why Romans chapter 3, verse 23. Can you help us show? Romans chapter 3, verse 23. Say what? Let us read together. Can we read the same Romans chapter 2, verse 12? Romans chapter 2, verse 12. Together. So we, we are not, no longer under law. Is that not so? So we cannot perish under law. But whether we like it or not, because of this, he has come to redeem us and set us free. And that is why Galatians chapter 4, verse 5, where we read, said, we are the redeemed. We are the redeemed. And if you read Galatians, the same Galatians chapter 3, verse 13, can you help us show on the screen? Galatians chapter 3, verse 13. Together, let us read together. Did they hang him on the tree? Eh? So he took the course on our behalf. He took the course on our behalf. So you need to appreciate and know the right, your right. Don't just behave like a slave. You are not slave to sin. You are not slave to devil. You are the son of God, and you should exercise your authority as a son. At times, I look at my son. He's about, uh, about 13 years now. And at times, I look for, for my singlet. Do you understand? I don't see my singlet. Ah. Who took my singlet now? At times I will see, see it on him. He has carried my singlet and he's wearing. It's because he's a son. Do you understand? No, no matter how close eh, a maid, what they call maid now, it's house hair. We don't even have one anyway. But no matter how close a house hair will be eh, to me, he wouldn't have that courage to carry my singlet and wear. He won't. It's because he's my son. I don't even want to say the other one, though, so that you will not laugh. And I will just discover, I look for it, I didn't even see it again. Before you know, he's the one wearing it. So hardly we even know, even be, if not because I keep, or the, hardly we even know because everything we just, it's because he's the son. That's why he has the right to do like a son. A slave will never do that, no matter how close he is to his master. <laughs> I don't know whether you are understanding my analogy. At times we behave like slaves. We don't know our rights with the father. We don't know the, 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 the heritage we have in him. And that is why we are tossed about by the devil. So I want you, after this message, to take up the courage 
and behave like a son. So that you will exercise your authority and the devil will tremble. He said, resist the devil and he will do what? He will flee. That's what I, if I don't know my right to the son, nobody, nobody, I'm telling you, that we have the boldness to tell that Baba Sugiti. I'm telling you the truth. You won't even do it if you don't know your, your, your rights. You won't do it. But I told him, I said, yes, this is what they said happened in your house. Anyway, I've been coming to your house, but I've not heard because Sigidi cannot even, he cannot even try it. But if at all he tries, he say, hoo, 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 I will say, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's nothing will happen. I was somewhere in the same place. We should know our right. And they are taking the, the, the Babaijo. Babaijo in that church, they said for 20 years, they didn't get Babaijo. And uh, the man that they appointed said, he will not be, and nobody will be. And I said, eh, okay, somebody will be. And I started the process. And one of our members, staunch member came and met me and said, Alufa, I said, our member. And I said, how? He said, nobody has been and nobody will be until that papa die. I said, okay. I said, I've heard you. But my God says somebody will be and nothing will happen. By the special grace of God, somebody was made and nothing happened. And I spent five years in that village and I left in peace and I'm still alive today. That Baba Ijo that I installed has died. I think he died during COVID-19, but it's not COVID-19, no, but he died. That one that said nobody would be died maybe I think one year or after years after we have installed that man and we did the barrier. How can you say when God has not said? Who are you to say when God has not said? Listen to me very well. I'm not saying but when you have God, I'm telling you, when you have God and you know the God you are serving, <laughs> even they will try, but it will not because you know your authority. Amen. Then if we have been reading, why do we only call, there is one song, sorry, we're in I will sing it in Yoruba. We didn't normally sing that song when we were young. And the Omo Baba Le Minche, Ni Nu Ibago, Ni Nu Yesu. Shebi Baba Mindo ni leo Ke ma rin, ke ma yon Fala Ke ma rin, ke ma yon Fala Omo Baba le mi se Ne pa i ba gor Shebi Baba Amen. Those who can interpret, they will still interpret that song. But I want to sing another one. He say, Nigeria, Nigeria. Oh ya, oh ya, oh ya. Tete kalo, omo baton shalege scavengers. Why are you behaving like a slave when you are a son? Why? So I want to encourage us today that we need to take our right to position in the sight of the devil and say that we are his son and we have authority. So that son says, Ninu Jesu, Shebi Baba mi do ni leo, Kimari, Kimayo, Falala, Kimari, Kimayo, Falala. I am the son 
of the Father through adoption, through faith. I have, through Christ, I have received that sonship. Eh? It is my Father that has not even land authority, has everything. Is that not? So I can now, I'm free to do what? To behave like. Eh? Don't interpret the way the song is. So I'm just telling you the message. So I'm free to behave like the son. Don't behave like a slave. There are many of us, we have put ourselves under bondage. We are asked, the Lord has redeemed us. We pray, year 2021, no power will overshadow your light. I say no power, you overshadow your light. The grace to receive that sonship, the Lord will grant you in the name of Jesus Christ. So that you'll be bold. you bold. Be bold. Whatever the, 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 the dark wall, we want to be bold. But the issue is that many of us, we have even soiled our life. We've soiled ourselves. We've soiled it. Many of us, we have gone where we are not supposed to go. <laughs> many of us, we have eaten what we are not supposed to eat. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. Kole se se kis jesu joba kesu joba. Kole se se ki jesu joba kesu joba. Ninu ayemi o ki jesu joba kesu joba. Kose se o ma se se kole se se. Heavenly Father, we are grateful to you because we have discovered ourselves that we are sons of God. Therefore, Lord, you will give us courage to take our position, to occupy our position as sons of God so that we will not have waste in our lives. You have redeemed us. Do not allow any power of darkness to overshadow us. In 2021, you will glorify yourself. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We will be taking our offering as the choir will lead us in choruses, for step D choruses.
front page of our bulletin for the selected verse and prayers for the week. Together, oh, clap your hands, all ye people. Shout unto God with a voice of triumph, for the Lord Most High is terrible. He is a great king over all the earth. Psalm 47, verses 1 and 2. Father, we clap, we clap, we clap our hands and rejoice with our hearts and all our minds have we shout triumphant praises to you. For you are the Lord above all lords, the God above all gods, and you are awesome beyond words. The nations rise and fall at your command, and all the presidents, kings, premiers, and other world leaders have their power only because you allow it. Kings and kingdoms come and go, but your reign is forever. Heavenly Father, I praise you because your power is exercised in righteousness and love towards all people. Father, I thank you and praise you and shout praises to you at the top of my lung because of who you are. Yours, Lord, is the greatness, the power, the glory, the victory, and the majesty. For everything in heaven and on earth is yours. All things come from you and of your own we give you. I serve this of you. Bless us and use them and us for the advancement of the purpose of your kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. this time I would like to request Baba Seventy to come forward for his thanksgiving. Mr. Anthony Adekunle Owe who turned 70 on Wednesday last week. Today is also his family harvest. Hey. 
As many of us are can kneel, let's kneel. Your love is so wonderful, so excelling on your son. Thank you, Father, for your grace upon his life these 70 years. If you can't in terms of seconds, you will not live here. And this has been how much wide, high, down, down, below, and wide your love has been over your son, over the work of his hand, over the wife, over the children, over the grandchildren. Father, accept our thanks, O Lord, in Jesus' name. And for the grace that he does not know Baba Shigidi, but he knows you, the one and the only living and everlasting Father, accept our thanks, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Now giving him every cause to glorify your name, to thank you. And he has come with his family, with his children and grandchildren, gracefully dancing, singing joyously. Father, this offering of praise will be acceptable unto you in Jesus' name. Amen. And through this, your family will be blessed unto generations in Jesus' name. Amen. Tell your righteous, it is well with them. We decree today in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, that everything about you has become a path. And the Bible said the path of the righteous, like son Adam, was getting brighter and brighter until the perfect day. Till we will behold Jesus. I decree upon your family, upon your self, upon your health, upon the works of your hand. It will be, can only be getting better in Jesus' name. Amen. When and when we will see you, it will be evident that you have been in the presence of the Lord. And through you, generations will be blessed. Amen. Nations will be blessed. Amen. The works of your hand will be established. The work of God in your hand in this chapel and wherever we will prosper much, much more. And uh, to as many as I hear rejoicing with you, things of rejoicing will never cease in your homes. We will enter 2021 with the confidence of being sons and daughters of the Lord. And we will make exploits in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Unto God's gracious, merciful land, His mighty right hand, and the countenance of His face, we commit and commend you. It is well with you. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. I think congratulations, sir. God bless you. To you, Lord, be all the glory. To you, Jesus, be all the honor. To you, I shall be all the glory and adoration. family and uh, Reverend Adem Ademo families should come forward for thanking God for the numerous blessings upon the families. Please the two should come together. After which, if you are here for your family harvest, you will be ready to come. Hey, 
son and the entire family for calling him into this special ministry and for being his God. He has taught it deep in his heart with the members of the family and they have come before you to render their hearts of gratitude. May you accept their praises in the name of Jesus Christ. May you accept their offering in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, here they are before you, thanking you and presenting them before you, that you that, has, that have helped, us, helped them thus far will also continue to be their strength. As you have requested, the Lord will grant unto you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you will never know sorrow. No evil will come near your dwelling. As this work of the ministry is so delicate, I pray, Heavenly Father, you will not fall in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever God puts into your mouth to speak unto the people will come like fire to liberate them in the name of Jesus Christ. And if the devil wants to fire back because of what the Lord is using to do, I pray multiple folds, million folds you will overcome in the name of Jesus Christ. Year 2021, I decree to your ministry, I decree to your life, I decree to your family, none of you will fall in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not fail in the name of Jesus Christ. In your academic career, your work, I pray, you will continue to move higher in the name of Jesus Christ. The lovely children that the Lord has endowed you, I pray that none of them will bring the grace to you in the name of Jesus Christ. They will make the family proud in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will order their steps. Even as they are growing, they will not miss the mark in the name of Jesus Christ. They will always make you happy in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that as we have given fit to thank God today, Things of rejoicing will never be far from your home. It shall be well with you when you come out. It shall be well with you when you come in. It shall be, it shall be well with you, and the Lord will bless the work of your hands. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift his light of countenance and grant you peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now and forevermore. God bless you. O Lua et Obi, et Obi, O et Obi. O Lua et Obi, et Obi, O et Obi. Oh, 
The families that are to come forward for their family harvest this Sunday are your daily family. Beradugo, Bernard, Koka, Dada, Chuku, Bashirubelo, Benson, Bolu, Bright, Chijoke, Chika, Chuku, Chukura, Hab Koka Habat, Koka Nife, Da Costa, Dada Dolapo, Dada Mokendi, Dada Prince, Ben, Benedict, Benson, Chuku DK, Awe, Chine Melu, Chuku, Chukweze. So these are the families that are to come forward. I learned the envelope is not uh, available. I don't know why. Treasurer, please, you take notes. The family harvest envelope I learned is not available. So please, let's take notes. Is there anybody among the families that I've mentioned that are here? Please, choir lead us in choruses. Let us dance to the altar. Cause oh, baby, rare. Cause see, baby, rare. For my soul are be rare. Igwe, cause so be rare. Go see Baba be rare. For my soul are be rare. Let me call on Toby. Ever me call on Toby. Ever me call on Toby. kneel down to pray. To you, O oh God, who does what no man can do, and you are the God of all seasons and times, time to plant, and everlasting time for harvest. Seasons of harvest will never cease in your lives in Jesus' name. Unto generations, harvest of joy, harvest of thanksgiving, Harvest of being upheld even unto the end of times when the angels will come to harvest the world. Harvest of being consecrated for greater, mightier worship. Harvest that men will see and will be obvious that you are children of God. Harvest of great things like cities that cannot be hidden that men will see and they will say of a truth. You are worshiping a living God. Harvest of things that would make men to say they want to follow you to worship your God, the Lord will grant you. Thank you, Lord. On behalf of these families, unto generations. And we ask that your everlasting mercy will be upon them. Thank you, Lord, because we know you are able to do more exceedingly, abundantly, than we can ask for or imagine. In Jesus' name we have prayed. God bless you. I serve a God who is powerful. Mm -hmm. 
celebrants of joyous moment, milestones in the month of December, such as birthdays, weddings, and wedding anniversaries, should please come forward for their thanksgiving. Sever God who is powerful in hallelujah. I sever God who is mighty. He is God so good. Hallelujah. And call him a miracle. Sever God who is powerful. I sever God who is that which you did in their lives sometime in the month of December. They have come to rejoice. Some have danced and have brought their friends in their back. They are sick. But Lord, with a heart of thanks, they have come forward. So Lord, we ask that you will accept their thanks offering in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord will declare that that which you have done in their lives has made them to rejoice and they dance today. Lord, you will continue to bless in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, when they remember those things, they will continually rejoice in the name of Jesus Christ. Those things you have done, the devil will not mar in the name of Jesus Christ. The month of December, Lord, that they have rejoiced about, we pray. Those things will keep, Lord, giving them joy all the days of their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, we ask, committing them unto your hands, that you continually sustain these ones in the name of Jesus Christ. This time next year, December, you will keep them alive and their joy will be much more than this in the name of Jesus Christ. And so all of you that have rejoiced today and have brought your offerings, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord continue to multiply his, his blessing upon your life now and forevermore. Amen. You are God. You are not just being. You are not just not you. You are a great God. You 
are God, you are God. You are not just B.O. You are not just Lajo. You are a great God. You are big, 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 big. You are big. The Lord be with you. Let us bow our heads as we pray. Thank God for the service of today. Thank God for the blessings that the Lord has given unto us. Commit yourself into God's hands that wherever you go this week, the Lord will protect you. The Lord will protect our children. No evil will befall any one of us. Let us decree to year 2021 that remains four days for us to enter. That year 2021, it shall be well with me. I decree to my life and family God's blessings, God's favor, God's protection. We are covered under his wings. Just as Psalm 91 verse 1 says, He that dwells in the sick place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of Almighty. Appreciate God because he has answered us. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Everlasting Father, we return thanks to you because when we wanted to start, we call on your name to be with us and to lead us through. We thank you, Heavenly Father, because you have led us through this service. You have spoken your word to us. You have blessed us. You have enriched our souls. We pray as we step up from this sanctuary today. This week, we pray that your protection will be upon us in the name of Jesus Christ. The blessings you have given unto us, devil will not take such away in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When others are rejoicing for the remaining days for this year to end, we shall not be in a state of sorrow in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we ask, O oh God, that your grace that we launch out to our realm of celebration in the year 2021, as we start from January 1, we pray that we receive it this day in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Year 2021 will be favorable and we shall eat the fruit of the land. Amen. Lord, we pray that when others are seen lifting up in our camp, there will be no pulling down in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God, we continue to speak that which will make us even to rejoice in him to us and our family members in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. For chapel of the healing cross, we shall continue to move stronger. Amen. We shall work stronger. Amen. The gate of hell will not prevail over the church Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Even for our needs, individually, corporately, we know that when we trust you, you will always be there for us. Father Lord, we pray that you meet us at the point of our needs in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, through our needs, we pray that the world will not mock us in the name of Jesus Christ. Suffering will be far from every one of us. Lord, we pray that suffering will be far from every one of us. Suffering will be far from our children. Lord, we pray that you will always be there for us. Because when we have you, we know that we have everything. Thank you, Lord, you will guide us. The psalmist says, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, that I will not... I will, I, will, I will not fear because I have God. Therefore, we pray this day 
that this week, whatever turbulent the, the world may bring, Father, we shall not fear in the name of Jesus Christ. Because we know that we are overcomers in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. None of us will die prematurely. Our children will not die prematurely. Lord, wherever we shall go, that we shall meet our untimely death. Even if we want to go, Holy Spirit will not allow us to go in the name of Jesus Christ. You will continue to guide us. We remember our members who have traveled Father, in their villages, you sustain them in the name of Jesus Christ. The food they will eat, the water they will drink, I pray that will sanctify all in the name of Jesus Christ. None will serve as poison unto their system in Jesus' name. And they will also return back safe and sound. And your name alone will be glorified. Thank you, Heavenly Father, because we know that we move in a greater way for, to, uh, on, with us in year 2021 in the name of Jesus Christ and it shall be well with us. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift us light of countenance and grant you peace, grant you joy. No man will take away the joy from you. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be with you now and forevermore. for being part of this service. We thank God for the grace that God has bestowed upon us to witness the last Sunday of the year. As we have prayed for the remaining days for this year to end, it shall be celebration galore in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So go and enjoy because you have God on the throne. And God is our Father. So we have authority to behave like sons. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. If you are worshiping with us for the first time and you are physically present here, we welcome you. And those who join online for the first time, we also want to welcome you. But if you are here physically, I will request that you raise your hand where you are seated and you step a step of faith by standing so that we can welcome you. Is there anybody worshiping with us for the first time in this chapel? Okay, please stand. Let's welcome them, please. Lord, want to 
welcome you to this place of worship. This is the chapel of the Healing Cross. It is a Protestant ecumenical chapel of the College of Medicine and Lagos University Teaching Hospital, Lut, and for every one of us. You heard that the word of uh, the power of God is in this place to bless someone like you. Feel free to identify yourself with us. The love of God is being demonstrated here, and we care for one another. As you have come today, you've taken a bold step. The Lord will strengthen and reward you in the name of Jesus Christ. But if to say you follow somebody, the Lord will also grant you joining mercy back in the name of Jesus Christ. Once again, you are welcome. Please sit. Our ushers will still attend to you. Those that are celebrating their birthday starting from today for this week, we want to wish you well. And if you are here in the chapel, please raise your hand where you are seated. Please let us all stand as we stretch forth our hands to them as we sing the Happy Birthday song. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. We wish you well on your day of birth. And we pray that the Almighty God will grant you grace to celebrate many more years in the land of the living in good health if it's coming tarries in the name of Jesus Christ. So go and celebrate because you have God as your Father. Let me also specially appreciate those who followed Baba 70 uh, for Thanksgiving. We, we are indeed very grateful. Baba 70 told me, no, 70 plus. So he told me that some people are coming, and I, I think I saw faces that I've not uh, actually been familiar with. So sincerely, we want to thank you for the love that you have for him, and I pray that the Almighty God is going to keep him for us and for every one of us. And things of celebration will never be far from our homes in the name of Jesus Christ. Once again, thank you for coming. Please, COVID-19 protocol is supposed to be adhered to strictly. It is for your own good. It is for the good of others. Don't behave like others who say that there is no corona, that it's only malaria, malaria that jam with typhoid. It is real. So please, if you are coming, or you are even going to any social gathering, at times I see people in social gathering, they don't even care, they don't even, eh? I'll just be saying, hey, eh? God should save Nigeria. So please, it is for our own good. Let us try to, uh, to flatten the cough, as the NDC, NDC, the NCC, what they call them. Let us help to flatten the cough. You know, the, it's the second surge is coming up now. And we pray that it will not uh, go in a way that we will not be able to manage. Because if it does that in Nigeria, <laughs> I don't know whether we have the technical know-how anyway. But God will help us in Jesus' name. God has been so loving, but we should not take God for granted. The Lord will help us as we do so in Jesus' name. In the chapel here, we try to make sure that two people are seated on a pew with physical distancing. But I discovered that some of us are not listening to ushers. Please, I don't want any report to come to me again. If you are asked to sit 
on a pew too. Try to abide by it. And if it is one in the middle, maybe at the back of the door, try to abide by it. Why do we need to? In fact, disobedience is a sin. It's a sin. And the wages of sin is what? You can see how the thing goes. And those who die in sin, where would they go? So it's not good, please. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Uh, our what night service will be live streamed. Please. I learned that Khan has issued a statement that we can come, but we will leave, everybody should leave before 12:15. Uh, I don't know how it will be possible. Those who come from Lekki, how they will move from here to Lekki under 15 minutes. Even if, if they use aeroplane uh, before taking off and landing. I think 15 minutes is already, is already gone. So please, we will live stream the service and it's going to be two hours. By the special grace of we are praying that there will be no uh, network hitch. Everything will be normal. We will try our best. So that between 10 and 12 a.m., we will just shout Happy New Year to uh, 2021. Everybody will be alive in good health. And we shall all triumphantly enter into 2021. So please, it will be live streamed between 10 and 10 p.m. on 31st and 12th a.m. on January 1. There will also be service um, on January 1. And it's going to be family worship and combined service and it will commence at 10. We hope that it will not be more than one hour between 10 and 11. First, sun, uh, first Sunday in January, we will have our 8 a.m. service. We will also have 10 a.m. service. So please take note of that. It is not a combined service. There will be an emergency council meeting immediately after service. So members of council, please avail yourself for this meeting. Chapel anniversary, that the 58th anniversary of the chapel and the dedication of the hexagonal project will take place on Sunday, 17th January 2021 at 10 a.m. Prelate of Methodist Church is coming and other bishops will be here for the service. So please let us take note and pray for its success. Once again, I want to thank you for the families who are to come for their family harvest on Sunday, 3rd January. We have the Emenike family, Egemoye family, Dawari family, Delano, Benga family, Delano, is it wrong here? I don't know. Family, Egbo Simba, Egmoye, Emedom, Daniel, Den Loye, Da Silva, Drosimeti, Ebirekwe, Efion Eyo, Egbeyemi, Egwon, Ekedum, Ekene, Eloagu, Emanam, Emo Beifo. Sorry if I don't understand, if I don't pronounce it well. David, Dosu, Dosumu, Eke, Eluche, Dominic, Ebo, Efion, Egwon Reverend. So these are the families that are to come forward for their family harvest on the 3rd of January 2021. From Osha's book, Attendance Register, members of the congregation are to please note that attendance registers will be placed at the entry points to the main chapel from next Sunday, 3rd January 2021. Completion of the register as well, as well as observance of all other COVID-19 protocols are mandatory. The registers are to, be comp are to complement the ones at the main gate. So that is to see if I understand what they are saying, is that if you didn't write at the main gate, you will see at the entry points so you can also document your name.
the Lord will help us as we comply in the name of Jesus Christ. Fellowship or members of the Fellowship of Light are to please wait behind after 10 a.m. worship service for a brief meeting at the usual meeting point. So members of the Fellowship of Light, take note of this announcement. The Chapel Volunteer Singers appeals to all young at heart, men and women, especially youthful men and women. Let all the young adults come join the CVS. God bless you as you come. So please, we need young men, most especially in that CVS point. So please, if you are led, kindly join. If you are young women too, at heart, we are not saying age now, at heart. So please, you can also join. If you want to join, please kindly see Professor Mrs. Fora Shade Akinsola. She's there. So please see her. She will direct you on the next uh, action. Once again, we want to thank you for coming. The Almighty God who has kept us thus far will lead us through this year and beyond in good health in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Our departing hymn is hymn 4105. Lead us, Heavenly Father, lead us. Thank you for worshipping with us today at the Chapel of the Healing Cross. We hope today's message ministered to you. Do join us again. Please follow us on Instagram and like our Facebook page to stay up to date on our activities. God bless you.